When a vintage affair opens, Phoebe Swift, my heroine, is about to open her new vintage dress shop in Blackheath. It's called Village Vintage. And Phoebe has been working at Sotheby's for 12 years in costumes and textiles and has now decided to branch out and open her own vintage dress shop. It's about Phoebe's search for redemption in a way. Of course, it's about the vintage clothes. She goes to buy a collection of clothes to an elderly French woman called Therese. And amongst the beautiful dresses and suits, there's one garment that Therese doesn't want to part with. It's a child's coat from 1943, from France, from Avignon, where she comes from. Gradually, the two women, Phoebe and Therese, become friends. And Therese explains the story behind this little blue coat and the child for whom it was destined, a little Jewish girl with whom she was friends at school. And as Phoebe listens and learns about this story, she realises that this story is to change her own life forever because she uncovers the mystery of what happened to that little girl in 1943. There's a lot of metaphorical mileage to be got out of vintage clothes because when you're buying a piece of vintage clothing, you're not just buying threads and fabric, you're actually buying a piece of someone's past. And I'm fascinated by the idea that these lovely old clothes actually contain someone's personal history. So when I look at a pair of vintage shoes or a vintage hat, I imagine the person who once owned them rising out of those shoes and walking along in them and dancing or um, kissing somebody in them. And I imagine the life that that woman lived. And this is really what my book is tapping into, the, the life that vintage clothes have lived. I did a lot of research for this book because I didn't really know that much about vintage clothes to start with. So I went and talked to four or five um, vintage dress shop owners about how they source the clothes, how they repair and restore them, which eras are most popular at the moment and what sells well at a particular time. It made it easy, I must say, because it's such a lovely subject. I loved learning about these glorious old clothes and I loved describing them for the reader. I loved writing the scenes in Phoebe's um, vintage dress shop so that I could really sort of uh, rather wallow in the descriptions of the, the lovely dresses and suits and the hats and the shoes and the Hermes Kelly bags and the, the, the wonderful jewellery and uh, I did very much enjoy that and I knew that the reader would also derive a lot of the pleasure that I hope they'll get from the book from those descriptions. <laughs>